Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem. Hey, everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome to episode 124 of Snack Minute. Today, we're going to be talking about cloud agents and Thousand Eyes with our friend Adil. Um, Adil, uh, can you tell us what these cloud agents are all about and uh, how, how we can take advantage of them? Thanks, Kareem. Thanks, Matt, for having me. I'm really excited to be here today. Um, I want to talk about uh, cloud agents and how you can quickly get started with Thousand Eyes. Uh, cloud agents is one of the type of agents that we have. We also have enterprise and endpoint agents. And the difference basically is that they give you a different perspective of where you're collecting data. Cloud agents uh, give you an outside in perspective, which means you are hosting a service or a server or an application in your data center, and you want to see how things are at the network, network perspective, application perspective from somewhere in the world, say in Australia, US, Europe, uh, uh, South America, et cetera. And you, you want to see how that is behaving. That's uh, where you can uh, start leveraging cloud agents. Um, you want to see how things are doing from your uh, internal network outside, then you use enterprise agents. And if you want an end, end user perspective, then you start using endpoint agents. Are these so these agents? Um, I, I don't have to worry about deploying them. They're already out there and managed by Cisco. Is that correct? That's correct. That's the part that you can um, leverage. You know, basically, we take care of them, we install them, we manage all the infrastructure, the updates, etc. And you can just pick them when you're configuring a test and start monitoring your services. You collaborate with like AWS and uh, service providers, ISPs like Comcast, Spectrum, and all these folks, and have have these agents in their infrastructure, saying that whenever we want to, we have an application in AWS or whatever that's running there, our users can tap into that enterprise, uh, sorry, that cloud agent to to monitor. Is that basically how it works? Yeah, that's basically how it works. We have uh, different agents. We have about. 253 different locations. Uh, and on top of that, we have about 63 different countries where we host these agents uh, in different uh, or key points, uh, like you mentioned, different ISPs, uh, cloud providers, et cetera, so that we can offer the user a perspective from those places. Yeah, that's very cool. Uh, let's see it in action. I, I wanted to uh, focus on cloud agents because for the audience out there that hasn't tried Thousand Eyes, you can just sign up for a trial. Hopefully, we can leave a, a link here somewhere uh, and start using this uh, right off the bat. So, for example, uh, you go into Cloud and Enterprise Agents, then Test Settings. Uh, you give it a name, and we basically give it the URL that you want to start monitoring. Now, I picked um, the web layer and the HTTP server test type. And just for practicality, this is really easy to configure. You basically are giving it a URL. Let's say that you want to monitor Outlook uh, and you want to collect data every two minutes. And then this is where it gets interesting. You don't have to deploy really anything. You can just pick those um, agents uh, that you want to collect uh, information from. So for example, here I'm selecting uh, Egypt. India, from North America, you want to uh, start monitoring from Osborne, Virginia, whatever you want to pick from our cloud agents, you can choose here and just hit on create a new test. And that's it. We, we are set up. You're going to start um, collecting data from these different sides of, of the world in key locations and get network metrics, get the HTTP server metrics right there. And it's that easy. Yeah, it's that easy. Uh, and, wow. and that's why I really wanted to show you an example with cloud agents, uh, with enterprise agents. You, We do have a, a several platforms that we support. And I actually want to mention this as well. In Thousand Eyes, we, we have unique points uh, where we are able to collect data, like we are able to collect data from different catalysts and uh, ISR uh, routers, et cetera. And those are very, very unique positions um, where you want to start monitoring uh, the network from. Now, let me take you to something else that I want to show you today, which is 
uh, how you can use Thousand Eyes for troubleshooting a real um, problem or a network problem. Um, and that is by using path visualization. Uh, first here, let me uh, guide your, your attention to the uh, left hand side where it says views. This is uh, the different layers that you can uh, collect data for. And this is really collecting the information for the test that we just configured a few minutes ago, uh, which is an HTTP server test. And when you start uh, collecting data for that HTTP server test, you are not only going to collect um, metrics that are relevant for the application layer, but also uh, the underlying network. So take this um, graph, for example, this is an outage that was captured for the uh, Nordstrom.com website. And you can see here, you know, when you're a, a network administrator, one of the most most common questions is, whose, whose fault is this? Is this the application? Is this the server? Or is this the network that's causing the problem? Well, here you can quickly answer that question uh, by looking at the layered views. You have all of these metrics available. You see these, uh, that the availability is green. So that probably means that uh, the application is responding correctly and it's up and running. The response time doesn't look to be affected as well. But if we go to the network view, you will have these um, two views, which is the network metrics, you know, loss, latency, jitter, etc. And you can see that before the outage started, loss wasn't a thing there until uh, a specific time where it started spiking up. And over here in the panel visualization view, you get all of the path and all of the nodes that are in the way between the agent and the uh, server that you are monitoring. And you'll see that the, these red circles are giving you the location where the problems are. This one is a cloud agent as well. And it's telling you that we have a 100% packet loss end to end. And now uh, farther down the line, there's a specific node that is uh, missing these packets, that is, is not forwarding them uh, down the, to the destination. Now, uh, you have a historical view here where you can go uh, you know, through the test rounds that were collected by the agent and see how different cities where the cloud agents are. This could be as, uh, as well your enterprise or in, um, enterprise agents that are collecting data as well. Um, but this helps you troubleshoot and narrow down a network problem in minutes. Yeah, this is amazing because then, because then you don't have to run you don't have to run a bunch of different tests. You don't have to go in and sound the alarms with a bunch of different people. Um, we can see exactly who we need to bother uh, to to help fix this issue. Exactly. And uh, traditionally, you know, you'd be trying to to collect packet captures in specific locations to find out, you know, uh, it, it, where, where where who's dropping the ball, right? And here you have a historical um, uh, analysis where you can uh, basically go to and reference where uh, was the problem, uh, because many times I'm not sure if if you had if you run into that, but many times you're trying to tr troubleshoot something and then the issue goes away and you didn't collect any packet captures, you don't have any evidence and you don't know what. And 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 then you tell the customer or whoever you're troubleshooting the issue with, that you have to wait until this happens again, but then you right. don't have control over when that's going to happen. So this is one of the things that I really love the most about Thousand Eyes, which is the pattern visualization. You get a visual, you get a historical that you can reference. So. If you were a tech engineer or a knock engineer, uh, you would be able to build a report saying when it was the start and what was the finish of the outage um, and be able to provide who or, or where specifically was the problem. Before we wrap, wrap up here, does this, so so if I, if I deploy whatever agent and I'm looking at the flow between one point uh, between uh, source and destination, and I know that I'm expected to hop through these servers, and some of the some of the the, the services and servers are mine. 
could I actually also automate the 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 process of saying I've noticed a slowdown here. I want to open a service now ticket to to wherever if it slows down here, then I can open a service ticket for this, you know, this IT help desk and get support right away. Is that something that we can build within um, Thousand Eyes, or we would have to like automate that? Yes, uh, we have. Uh... You know, out of the box integrations that you can do with the specific platforms. ServiceNow is one of them, and you can. We have the alerting part where you can set up uh, thresholds, what makes sense for your um, network application server that you're monitoring, and then trigger alert alerts uh, based on those, and use the integrations with these other platforms uh, to create a ticket uh, that has this information and uh, automate that. You know the responsiveness of this problem. Um, Abdil, unfortunately, we're, we're out of time, but uh, it is your first time with us. And so we ask this of all of our first time guests, uh, what superpower would you want to have and why? It was really hard to come up with one. I'm not really a superhero kind of guy, but uh, <laughs> if there was anything that I'd like to do, <laughs> would be uh, to be able to breathe underwater. Water, you know, uh, that's good to just me. because of the sea. Yeah. <laughs> so be a fish. <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> he wants to be Aquaman. <laughs> he wants to be Aquaman. Yeah. Abdel, thank you so much for your time, Snackers. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this uh, other episode of uh, Snack Minute. Check out our uh, Thousand Eyes Learning Path on Cisco U. Uh, we have um, everything that Abdel here talked to you about, as well as uh, deep dive into Thousand Eyes and more um, into Cisco U. And uh, we'll see you on our next episode. Yeah. Thanks, guys.